He said, I'm fine when I'm fresh and I'm fresh when I'm better. This is straight from the K and we can talk about whatever women's choices and divorces. Hey, it's all up to you. Like, comment, subscribe. Bring my hook in for me, boo. It's straight from the K. Straight. Okay, I'm doing my vlog today and I'm always in the kitchen. You're like, why are you always in the kitchen? I know, right? I'm always in the kitchen. Let me really trust. So, uh, I'm gonna talk my shit today. Y'all gotta excuse me. I caught myself on do a little photo shoot today. Y'all see the pictures? Probably on another format of mine. Probably it's like my um, YouTube and my Facebook. Because I'm using them for that situation. But then, tell me why. I am. I'm making a meatloaf right now. So, but I'm gonna talk about. Um, Mental health. I think mental health is very important that we bring highlight to it. And don't take it lightly. We all have issues. I mean, it's days I don't want to do anything. I lost my mom recently. And it's not just that. It's other things in my life. You know, childhood trauma, my perception of things. That don't mean it happened the way it did. It's my perception of how it happened to me. So, you know, dealing with, you know, um... A lot of us have uncles and, um, you know, you church and being, I was in child care and my child care um, son used to want to uh, um, um, grind on me. And it really messed me up because I was going to a private school at the time, a Christian private school. So listen to all these scriptures and all that kind of stuff like that really kind of messed me up when I'm dealing with the dilemma of somebody trying to have a lot of, you know, sexual acts on me. Um, not nothing penetrating, you know. But we can fast forward to me being a senior in high school and me trying to leave a job. I worked at the cookie company and a guy actually tried to rape me coming home on the train station. So he snatched my skirt off and, you know, tried to get me in the bushes and I just kept fighting. And so um, a parents always try to talk to your children and see what's going on with them. Because these are all long-term life effects you understand what i'm saying like you think you'd be over it and it it, it kind of impacts our life when we get older as far as our intimacy like for a long time i would not have like an orgasm or anything like that because i would engage in sex but i wouldn't i felt like i was getting over on them because they really want me but i'm holding back you know what i mean so and a lot of people thinking they really getting down they got their little tricks and the one leg on their shoulder and they get it in I ain't studying nothing because I got a blockage. You know what I'm saying? And so, it's a lot of us who got blockages. And we out here in relationships and we ain't even being pleased then because we got to heal. And we don't know what to heal from. We're like, it's not my fault. Why should I be healing so much? But you do have to heal. And you have to recognize it. So, anytime you can get any kind of, um, if you have a, a decent job and they have a, um employment assistance program, the EAP, please utilize that because I utilize mine where I get free sessions of therapy. So I'm, I'm big on therapy, okay? And I just wanna talk about that because, you know, now I'm dealing with my kids and the effects of the pandemic and um, kind of like a lot of anxiety because we just lost a, a very person, a person who was up and walking, it's kind of messing with my children's head about like, can I just die like that? And like, we all can just die like that. I mean, I can live out, leave out of here and and being route to work or to one of my deliveries for my business or anything and I can die and they can too you know somebody mad with you or you don't know what the, what devil getting up that morning with you you know so you just have to thank God you know what I mean each day but the anxiety of worrying about that all the time it's very much prevalent I try I just um, re-enrolled in another EAP at my job I did. And my job is rolling enrolled in another EAP. And guess what they said? Hey, um, due to the the man that uh we're only doing like live chats. I hate texting. Anybody who know me, I hate the text. And I don't like um I don't really like texting. I don't. I so anybody who's trying to talk to me and be like, Well, why you don't text back? I don't like the text. I do a lot of computer work. And computations at my job as well as for my business I'm always thinking of numbers 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 I gotta go get it I gotta go get it I gotta go get it I gotta go get it. and 
I don't like to take my free time and waste it on a text, especially when I know it ain't going nowhere. You just want to go more than beautiful me to death or, or what you got on and all that kind of, I'm not texting you, okay? So you might, you're going to be on red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part. Also keeps my sanity. Helps me out with this mental situation. But anyway, I have children. So they're going through it now. Um, trying to navigate through um, this new life. Of, um, you know, and basically everything is an online type of situation with people now. It's not like it used to be. I am stirring. You see me stirring? Okay. I'm stirring. Everything's like an online situation now where we used to do a lot of stuff in person. But due to social um, viruses that keep multiplying and we we're doing it to ourselves because we keep going out here acting like that's not a virus. So when we act like that's not a virus, the virus just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, like a cancer just grow. So be in denial if you want to. Lay in that denial river and that's on you. But it's real out here in the field. And I know, because I do work in, you know, in that area, right? That's my job to pay everything. <laughs> and then I have my stray from the cat, my business that I'm trying to do on my own. And thank, I want to thank everybody right now who support me. All my sales that's come from Facebook Marketplace, uh, also off of Google. Thank you, Google, for um, allowing people to, when they search out a beauty supply, to get me. And I just thank you and thank you and thank you. I thank you, everybody, who gave me a try. And, and folks with your girl. So I appreciate you. That's a side note. But back to mental health. Mental health is very real. We, re we definitely need to, especially in the black community, we have stigmas. And I don't think the stigma is as big as it used to be as far as everything got to go to the altar, you know. And church is going to sell. Because church got shut down. A lot of these churches are closed. Because guess what? Ain't nobody trying to be up in there during the COVID and, you know, laying hands. And then you realize how crooked they was. And I'm a very spiritual person. But I'm saying, church showed their hand. A lot of churches showed their hand by how crooked they was by because they couldn't get the money no more. And people wasn't in there on Sunday. And they couldn't run their game on you. How desperate they were about you just stealing your sense of money no matter what. I don't care. We ain't to get a sense of money. They be texting you and emailing you and things of that nature. And it's just my personal experience by me having a fire and stuff like that. And the church wasn't there for me. It was um, Red Cross. Please give it to the Red Cross. Red Cross was there for me big time. Um, big, big time. And the referrals helped me get a lot of other things as far as furniture and things of that nature when I came back to my house. Because at the one time, this house was burned up. And in 2019, I had a house fire. And I, I have a video on that. So check my video, please, um, on my house fire experience. And But I just want to give a shout out to those people like that. And this, all this stuff is makes ain't, make you anxious to have anxiety. And it, it, it bothers my children. They don't know day to day what's going to happen, you know. And they're thinking about life and death more than typical 15-year-olds and 17-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? So... I just want to um, reach out to everybody and let it be known that please believe in um, um, therapy. And I think people are because it's a waiting list. The waiting list is serious. I try to get my children in therapy and the waiting list, I've been waiting three or four weeks now. Just And I'm talking with insurance. I ain't talking about, you know, on the flat, on for free free. I'm With insurance, I'm still waiting. So I finally found a program that I got. I'm taking my daughter, one of my daughters, to this weekend. Next week, I'm sorry, next Thursday. But please get somebody to talk to you and them. You know what I mean? Don't shy away from mental health because it, what happens is you end up being on the news or somebody on the news, and Uncle Gerald out there naked getting shot by the police. It don't have to be like that. All we have to do is uh, y'all excuse me. All we had to do is um reach out for help. Not saying the person who listens to you better than you, because they're not. They got problems too. They probably got sell somebody's couch. I can listen to everybody. I don't know. But the thing is, you just need somebody to get that get that off of you. A lot of times when you hear yourself, and if you have any talent or any kind of musical ability or artistry, get tap into that so you can release things inside you. Like today, we did a a photo shoot, you know what I'm saying? And um, me and my girls, we did it in front of the Outcast um, 
mural down here in Georgia in the Little Five Points area. And we, I, I really love and enjoyed it. And my church enjoyed it. It gave a, a breath of fresh air. Everybody felt safe for a second. You know what I mean? And it just, it, re it released some of that anxiety that we all are holding on to. So I'm big on, um, that you need to get therapy, okay? Now, excuse me. You try to get some therapy. Figure out what's your, what croaks you. Try not to get on medicine if you don't have to. But if you got to, then you do, okay? I don't like, only reason I don't like medicine is because when you own medicine, it's just that when you can't get your medicine or your medicine is out, then you want the same feeling. So you start looking for substitutes. Marijuana, weed, something, purple set. I just popped me a perk. I just popped me a perk. I can't do perk set. It makes me walk around the house all day. Ain't no, I don't, it's supposed to be some kind of aphrodisiac, let people tell it. But um, me, myself, I can't have sex. If I'm, if I'm uh, worrying about somebody coming through the window, I'm sorry. It makes my anxiety higher than it is. So, don't come up here with me. That, that, that's not my thing. So, that's not my thing. But, I do want I just wanted to do this upload about um, um, mental health. And check my references in the bottom, please. And um, if you have any other problems, reach out to your local hotlines. And um, if you feel an emergency right now, dial 911 and don't wait, okay? But also try to get help fast my talk to. Don't look at the negativity. Try to, I can't say stay offline because y'all ain't gonna do that. Y'all ass is gonna get online and be, and sometimes those are triggers though. Because you're looking at somebody or you're looking at him or you're looking at them or whatever. And that's the problem. You need to worry about you. You. It's the bomb. You are the bomb. It's, it's nobody like you. God made one you. I don't care if you got a twin. It's just one of you. You understand what I'm saying? So don't worry about what you're seeing. You need to be like the horse with the blindness. You need to, you need to stay your own lane. You know what I'm saying? Like the horses. Because at the end of the day, I'm so sorry, y'all. You know, I usually don't wear my own hair out. But I usually do wear my own hair. Y'all just don't know that part. But um, just try to get help. If I somebody to talk to, we all, we all need somebody. I need somebody probably like every three months, okay? <laughs> At least every four. Because I'm dealing with different dynamics, you know. I'm trying to run a business. I got children. I got children that got problems. They got their problems. I got, you know, then I got a, my job, that dynamic. Sometimes I feel not appreciated there. So, you know, then I got, you know, like I said, my business. And I'm trying to make sure that my business pop off. Sometimes I feel like I ain't doing enough or I ain't, you know, whatever. And I, and I feel like I do a lot. But at the end of the day, it's like so overwhelming. And then, like I said, I just lost my mother too. So, um, I'm still handling her business. She was a walking person. She was not sick. Like, like we knew. We like, we wasn't warned that she was going to die. She just all of a sudden was diagnosed with something. And in 30 days, she was dead. So, that's hard. Also, check. Somebody getting chemotherapy. Check. Uh, inbox me, please. Let me know. You need a wig. For your chemo there because you are beautiful you're beautiful you are beautiful okay and uh that's all i want to say and i'm gonna have my references at the bottom and it's straight from the k ow 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 ow, ow. so let me finish this meatloaf for my family members because they asked they requested a meatloaf from me okay so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm done here we go yeah Appreciate you. Check my promo at this end of this video. Uh, folks with your girl if you want to. If not, it's all good. You can shop with somebody. Support your small black owned businesses, okay? Support no matter what. You ain't got to support me. You want to fuck with somebody else, that's on you. But I'm telling you, just support, okay? And check out my deal. I got Beverly Lines in. That was a request. So I got Beverly Lines in and they're different colors. Red, yellow, white, blue, stuff like that. But anyway, get your, get your mind right. Get your mind right, chick. I appreciate you. Check my promo. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay? Straight from the K. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm nothing. I love y'all. Okay?